Now let's have a look at the logarithmic graph. Okay, so we've just learned that if we have the function fx is equal to b to the power x, in other words, when we have the exponential uh, function, then the logarithmic function is the inverse of that. In other words, the inverse of this function is log with the same base of x. That simply means that if we go and draw the graph for the exponential function and we reflect it in the line y is equal to x, then we should have the logarithmic function. So let's go draw the graph. Is a set of axes and the logarithmic graph if we assume that b is positive first we assume that b is positive and now we get two possibilities the first scenario we're going to look at is where b is positive but also b is larger than 1 now when that is the case the logarithmic graph sorry the exponential graph looks like that and it intersects here where x is equal to 0 so whatever b is if x is equal to 0 whatever b is to the power of 0 will be 1 so it intersects in the point 1 sorry 0 comma 1 so now if we reflect it in the line y is equal to x so there's line y y is equal to x. If we reflect it, we see that point becomes now the point instead of 0, 1 becomes 1, 0. And it, instead of tending towards the negative x-axis, it is tending towards the negative y-axis. So now it's tending in that direction. And going up in this direction. Now, it's not a perfect reflection, but that's what the inverse of this orange line would look like. And this would now be the function log b x given that b is greater than 1. That's what the function graph looks like. Let's see what does the function graph look like when b is smaller than 1. So there we have our set of axes, y-axis and now x-axis. And this time, if b is less than 1, the exponential function looks like this. Again, it doesn't matter that b is less than 1, b to the power of 0 still remains 1, which means it still intersects at 0 for x and 1 for y. It's its y-intercept, and it has a horizontal asymptote at y equal to 0. And remember why that is, and that is because b to the power of x, not unless b is 0, it is impossible for this to be equal to zero, so we can never reach y is equal to zero. Okay, now what's going to happen if we reflect this in the y-axis? Sorry, not y-axis, y equal to x line. Again, we see that point becomes in zero comma one becomes one comma zero. And secondly, the instead of approaching the positive x-axis, we'll be approaching the positive y-axis. And we'll pass through that point. So we'll approach the positive y-axis. And instead of fearing off into towards the negative x-axis and the negative uh, positive y-axis we're going to veer off to the positive x-axis and negative y-axis so it goes this way and this is again the other shape of the log function given that this b 
is then smaller than 1. Well, it's not that difficult if you know the exponential function and just how to reflect it in the y is equal to x-axis. It's very easy to find the to draw the graph of the logarithmic function. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. See you in the next one where we're going to look at some properties of the logarithmic functions.